good morning everybody welcome back i was just told i look like a loan shark <laughs> right k drama loan, loan shark. shark give me my money right now right now just... you're welcome yeah. give me the money right now uh, uh... in and out again for the first time in like five something years the fries were like not it see in and out was good but like on the tummy she did a little damage <laughs> uh this sweater is from target these pants are from h&m these shoes are from target my jewelry is from i think walmart it was a gift and this is from my man. Thank you to my man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this turtleneck is from my parents when I was living in Korea. This is from Ross. This is from Korea. This is a hand me down from my sister. Me. And the shoes are from my man. Yeah. Thank you to my man. And all the jewelry is from Godia. And yeah. Guys, we just got two kegs of water. <laughs> we just ordered so much food. That's the perks of being a pollination. This food is light work. The grind never stops. Mott. I'm just here with my sister chilling outside her class. I saw the stairs while I was I saw all of the stairs while I was walking. It's the outfit. The outfit is giving. Hi everybody, we're currently in the library studying. I'm editing a YouTube video and sketching. I'm doing a project and listening to jazz. Everybody. We're going to the legendary Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Second time. You guys witnessed the first time in New York. Oh, now we're going again. We're gonna do some damage. You are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I found what I've been looking for. Yes, sir. You? No, no, that's what I said. Do you want both? Yeah. Do you want yeah, both? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. One. And two. <laughs> In the pot. Yes, what is that? Done. <laughs> wow. Oh yes, my huh? gosh. Aw, oh, her <laughs> precious little pookie pookie poop poop. <laughs> Text her. Be quiet, man. But yeah, they were out of the Belgian butter waffle cookies. Ugh. The only thing that I love with my entire heart. And cookie butter. Like what? What? How could you possibly do that? Like, bro, what? But, like, I was expecting everything to be over $100 and it was, like, only $80. And you buy my stuff. Yeah. And stuff that we're gonna eat tonight. Like, what? Well. Loan shark duties. Price. What? That price would never exist in Hawaii. 
Wait. First time in Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, there's so many tiny things here. Like tiny, like tiny candles. Yeah. Din din. <laughs> Why do you look like that? It's Thursday morning. It's my last day here. I got some gifts for people at home. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna pack the bag in. The bag is in. Guys, I'm repacking my suitcase and I totally overpacked, like way too much. Outfit of the day. Outfit. So I'm finally out with a friend. We're at Cafe Rio right now. I freaking love this place. <laughs> I love it. Mopped. I mopped that. To the thrift store. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Hola. Hola. Thrift store number two. We did some damage at the first one in ten minutes. In how many minutes? Ten minutes. Dang. Yo. Yeah. Last stop at Chick Fil A. What? There's a Chick-fil-A in Hawaii, but like, both Chick-fil-A's are too far from me. So, we're on our way to the last thrift store, and I'm not gonna lie, where the heck are we? Very sketch. Third thrift store, no damage was done. Uh, Chick-fil-A hack you've probably already seen. Take the, get the mac and cheese. Break up some chicken nuggets. Break them up. Break them. Break them. Then you take the Chick-fil-A sauce. Ooh. Oozing with delectability. Mixity mixy mix. Okay. You're gonna get everything in one big bite. <laughs> wow mm. okay thrift store haul everybody first oh, oh my period. gosh it's giving in sync in sync <laughs> okay next one guys this is a sweater kind of thing i'm a sucker sucker for sweaters and so soft it's so high quality you might have thought i it's a luxury brand because that's what it looks like and feels like guys look at these pants <clears throat> one more thing guys look Yes! 
Okay, everybody. We got some tacos. Some gringas tacos. We're going to dry them. Okay. Yummers. Can I just finish this one? Steak or tongue? Yep. Alright, alright, I vibe with it. Just well, I'm just gonna have one more bite because my body's gonna hate me so much. When I go home, I'm not gonna eat a thing until Christmas Day. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is 6 a.m. Friday morning. I will see you when I see you. We're headed home. Yeah! Guys. Oh my gosh. Currently having the craziest adventure right now. Yeah. Okay. Guys, guys, you will never believe my flight was supposed to be at 5 p.m. It's currently 11:21 p.m. They told us our flight is delayed until 8 a.m. tomorrow. So they're like, go to the Sheraton Gateway at the LAX. There are rooms prepared for you. We get here after the freaking 50 hour trek to get here because LA traffic sucks booty. We get here, we wait in this line. Nobody, even the people who got here earlier, nobody's gotten a room yet. So me and my chingus, we are gonna sleep in the lobby floor because we're sick and tired. And now um, we don't get our, we don't get our meal vouchers at all. So. I'm sorry, parents, but I'm eating your Trader Joe's treats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. D2 in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, it's the next morning in the hotel, and we got our meal vouchers. And so we took it down to the buffet this morning, and they are valid. So we get to have a buffet this morning, which is so, so nice because I haven't eaten since 9 a.m. yesterday. 11, 12, I don't know. But I am hungry and I'm sick of fast food. So, yeah. See, even though, even though this is very inconvenient, it's also an adventure. Also, it's kind of learning and lessons. So, yeah. Hey guys, story time while I braid my hair. <clears throat> I'm in a hotel room right next to the LAX because let's let's rewind. I fly out of Utah to come here and I have a connecting flight here in the LAX, right? I arrive here at the LAX yesterday morning and then my flight to Hawaii from the LAX is at 5 p.m., right? So I have like a seven hour, about a seven hour layover. It comes to about 4.40 p.m. and I go to the front desk and I'm like, oh, I'm here to board this flight. We haven't boarded anyone yet. And I'm thinking, it's 4.40, the plane is supposed to fly out at five, this plane must be delayed. Yeah, I wait a little bit more. I get a notification saying that the, the flight will depart later. I get one at 6.30. Seven. Then the front desk people say, "Oh, we're we're gonna give you an update on the plane at 7:30." 7:30 comes around. They say, "All right, everybody, the flight is delayed until 8 a.m. tomorrow. If you need hotel accommodations, <clears throat> all you have to do is show them, go to the hotel, show them your boarding pass." I'm like, "Oh my gosh, that sounds so yummy and easy. Biggest, fattest, thickest lie I've ever heard." So we make the 15 mile trek out of the door, get our baggage. I go to the shuttle, it's 50 miles away. We're waiting on the side of the road, right? So we're looking for the Sheraton shuttle. The whole time I'm there, which is like half an hour, only one Sheraton shuttle passes by and freaking doesn't even stop for anybody. anybody. So I'm like, you know what? I'm probably gonna be waiting here forever for a shuttle that's not gonna come. So I'm just gonna get on another hotel shuttle. like, like that. So I got on the Hilton because all the hotels are relatively close to each other. So I'm thinking I'll just freaking walk it. So I get on the Hilton shuttle, right? I find the next Hilton shuttle with some other girls that are from Hawaii. So 
we get dropped off we're walking it's a straight shot to the sheraton it's about like 10 15 minute walk but i don't even care because it would have taken ages to get on the bus we get to the hotel there's this fat line of everybody else at that gate who also went to the hotel i get to the hotel about 9 15 by 10 10 30 i'm like kind of at the front kind of at the middle and this is where the line has stopped moving for half an hour and i'm like my legs are so tired i'm tired and i just go walking around and there's this huge expanse of just carpeted ground with nothing maybe it's because i'm from hawaii or something but like i was told like i'm so used to sleeping on the floor so me and these five other girls from hawaii thank goodness and one of them is from my hometown so i knew her already which i'm so glad she was on my flight oh but first but first but first before we decide to get out of the line i started to talk to other people who are like in another line close to the line i'm in and i asked them oh did you guys get a room yet and she's like no we were actually here really early and they put us on a wait list for the rooms and we still haven't gotten a room yet and they've gotten there like an hour before me so i'm like there's no freaking way that i'm getting a room tonight so i'm just I'm ready to just tough it out on this floor so i tell the situation to my friends and they're like i'm totally down we're all from hawaii so we don't freaking mind we go we go make our little home for the night in the lobby on the carpet <clears throat> and i fall asleep on the ground and then maybe like half an hour 40 minutes into my slumber the freaking security guard comes and says oh technically you can't be sleeping on the ground but i understand your situation so if you sleep on a chair i'll let it go what the frick does that make sense and so yeah i eventually get on a chair I get comfortable on the chair and I'm like sleeping like a baby for, for like a good hour. 3 a.m. comes around. The line that we had been standing in for about two hours is gone. Apparently people got their rooms. I was thinking nobody's going to get rooms in time. The lady at the front desk apparently feels bad that she sees us sleeping in the lobby. So she offers us a room. We're all girls. So we're like all down to just share a room because they told us, oh, your flight is delayed until 8 a.m. tomorrow. We're like, we're thinking, OK, we probably have to get up. We probably have to get up by 5 a.m. so we can get on a good shuttle to get to the airport like at six we we get our room at 3 a.m and we're thinking okay we only have like a, like two hours and i'm gonna have to sleep we fall asleep we wake up at the time we're supposed to and it says your flight has been canceled what the freak and i'm like i freaking boycott this airlines should i say which airlines uh, that's a freaking another thing at the gate when they say go to the hotel your meal vouchers will be there for you and you'll You'll have dinner available for you. The kitchen was closed, sis. She was closed. So basically nobody got to eat <clears throat> unless they paid for it. We get to our room. We're so freaking tired. And so we're finding out our flights are canceled. So I'm just like thinking on my feet. I get I gotta get a flight that's soon and that's that doesn't break my bank too much. And so I found a flight that leaves on a different airlines because frick this airlines <clears throat> guys last night was a freaking adventure and standing in line was an adventure <clears throat> making new friends was an adventure and... but here's the thing guys they told us the reason for the delay was mechanical issues in the plane but they also said but guess what we're gonna use the same plane that's where you people don't have any common sense of course, I don't know the full story, but I would assume, you know, maybe if it's going to take you a while to fix the plane, just get a different plane. It shouldn't be that hard. It's a freaking airport. What do you mean you ran out of planes? I'm so grateful that I didn't have to pay for anything, that the hotel was <clears throat> free, and I'm going to get a refund, that I got a good, I got a good ass breakfast this morning with a meal voucher. And I'm also grateful that even though it is such an inconvenience, to be delayed and the flight is canceled and I have to buy another flight. At least I'm not in a plane that crashed mid-flight because I could have died. It's just the inconvenience that's air rates.